この思いを消してしまうにはまだ人生長いでしょう Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Full Metal Alchemist The Brotherhood episode 54. And last episode, Roy learned that Envy is the one that killed Hughes, and he's like pissed off and he's just, he just wants to destroy Envy. And then Envy turned seemingly into Roy, and、uh, Hawkeye seemingly figured out that Roy is fake. <laughs> Like at this particular moment, I'm not totally sure who Envy is among those two, but based on the way they presented the events, it seems like Envy turned into Roy and、uh, Hawkeye figured it out. So, yeah.、Um, there was also a radio thing where Miss Bradley told the whole world that the,、uh, the government tried to kill her, right? And Mustang saved her. And then Danny was able to. Also, learn that Ross is alive because he heard her on the radio. So, that's what happened last episode. And before we get into this one, if you guys have a reaction, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe. And if you want to see the next episode, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see like early access to all my animes that I'm currently reacting to and、uh, full names and stuff like that, you can check it out at patreon.com slash filmini. So, now let's start this episode. And here we go. Oh, s h i t what did I do? Okay, guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself. So you can just click on it, watch it, and then you just come back for my review. And all the i s h b a l a n w a r Research. I don't like this music that's playing. Like, I don't like this. Like, it makes me feel like she's gonna die or something. So, Roy is the only flame alchemist. Is that why Father wants him? I don't know that I will be able to do that though. Like, burn someone. Ugh, my back. <laughs> you know, I talk across my mind. I'm like, do you have to burn it off? You can just pour acid on it. <laughs> Why did I think that pouring acid on the back o n her back will be better than like having it been burnt off? That's so、uh, crazy. You're the inferno. Okay, who's who? I just did. Sorry. She's tricked him. Can Roy not hear the gunshots and everything to come for her? Burn him off, man. Like, burn him. Burn. Oh, he has that thing on both. Be scared. Now he's scaring me. <laughs> really? Really?
I love how it feels like he's conducting the music. Is that it? One final one. Don't don't let him escape. Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. Yes. Burn it. Yeah the Yeah the You don't wanna die, but you're okay killing other people. Why? Why? I freaking kidding me. I know they don't want him to be consumed. I, I want that dude dead, man. <sighs> They're just trying to protect you. I know. I don't. I don't want you to go to the downside either. But I just want him gone, man. Why don't y'all kill him? If you don't want Roy to finish him, like, do something. If Scar's saying that, then you know. <laughs> okay, they kill him and then have the other discussion. It's pure revenge. Don't do this to me. That scene, like when I remember that scene, like it makes me want to cry. That little girl calling out to her father. So what, uh, he didn't burn it off her back? Is it still there? Oh yeah, it was still there because she was taking a bath at one time and they showed it. Mm. He can't lose her. So he did burn it? He made her go through something dreadful again. What well, was the first time around? If not the burning of the thing of her back. Okay, now get rid of him. If you don't want to kill him, give him to Scar. Oh, so that's where that came from. Duh. Is he crying? <laughs> they don't want to do what you think. They're not going to do what you think they're going to do. Because they're humans.
Whoa, I love this. The sound is traveling from my right ear to the left as it's talking. What do I want to cry? <laughs> <laughs> Whether you want to or not. Young do say it's it's a try to remember. Just don't don't even remember. Hold him down. Oh, excuse me. What the heck? I wanted to press off tennis. This music, man. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, this show is awesome. Oh, was that what they were transporting in that episode where um, when we like came out of something? Tank. Oh, Buccaneer. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Aww. Is, is his name Salmon? Is that how can I'm okay? 
フェストフェイスフェストフェイス He's sitting there like a pretty, like nothing. Uh, no, 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 that better not happen. I'm like, that better not happen because, like, I want my Wuhan heart to have a little, like, to live a life with his sons, man, that he couldn't live before. Uh, I don't want to hear that. But I feel like it's gonna happen. Like, father is gonna absorb him somehow. And I really don't want that to happen. Yo, I said this by the end of the episode. Like, this show is awesome. Because it made me feel all kinds of emotions. Like, I started feeling angry. And then I went, like, I went from being angry to crying. And then to, like, laughing. I'm like, <sighs> I don't know why that affected me so much. Seeing Edward make Envy realize that he was being jealous of humans, and then him realizing that he was jealous of them, and then him crying, and then him like taking the t h r u c i f e r stone out of him and then crushing it and killing himself, and then you add that with the like the music that was in the background. Wow, I never thought that I would cry over envy. Like, I don't, y'all, y'all guys, you guys have been seeing how much I've been wanting this dude dead. Like, I've been saying it for such a long time. Like, I want him gone. And then now that he's gone, and then I started crying. Like, for real, I don't like it. I don't want to be crying over him. You know? Because he's the. He killed Hughes. Turned into Hugh's wife to kill him, framed Ross for it, and then when Roy came to face him, he turned into Hugh's. So, like, I wanted him gone, man, with such a passion. And then when Roy was like burning, 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 and I was like so happy to see him, like. Gone. Like when he burned it that last time, the last the last one that he did, and then his shell started like burning up everything and disappearing. I'm like, okay, is that it? I forgot that he had this the, that little bitty form. So he crawled out of it, and then Roy was about to kill him, right? And then Hawkeye just like pointed the gun at him, telling him to stop. I'm like, why are you doing this? And then Edward also showed up. It's like, I'm not gonna let you kill him. And then Scar was also there. I'm like, oh, people, I know y'all trying to have some kind of、uh, discussion about Roy's soul or whatever. But can y'all kill this dude before you even do that? Because I don't want him to have any chance to escape or anything. Like, I wanted him gone, man. And then, when the others were trying to make Roy understand that he wanted to run this country on another basis, I guess. Like, he wanted to run it with justice, with this. I know, I know his, his heart is not pure or anything, but like, just do better, I guess. And then, if he was. His heart was so overcome with hatred and all that. How is he supposed to lead a country on the right path when his heart is all full of rage and hatred and all that? And then, oh, when、um, Roy asked Hawkeye, like, what would she do if she killed him? She basically said that she was gonna kill herself, right? 
And the white boy is like, I don't want to lose you. <laughs> like these two have been together like forever. So like when he said that I don't want to lose you, I'm like my heart just melted in my heart. And then he said that he, after he realized, like he calmed down, right? He let out the the the, the rest of his rage by flaming somewhere in the corner over there. And then he sat down. And then he's like, did he sat down? Did he sit down? I don't know. But he told um, Hawkeye that he made her go through something. I don't, don't quite remember the word that he used again. And I'm like, why again? He didn't make her go through the Ishbalan war, right? Is that he didn't make her go through that? She chose to become to be part of the army and everything. So it wasn't particularly Roy's fault that she went through something traumatic with the Ishbalan war. Is that what he was referring to? I thought when they were going through the flashback and she asked Roy to burn the research of her back and I'm like Ugh, did she did he did he do it I thought he did it but then during the episode I'm like I remember her I think it was in the episode where Edward came to see her while she was at home by herself and they were talking about the war and everything I think in that episode they showed her taking a bath and she still had the research on her back so I'm like so he didn't burn it off so when he said that he made her go through something traumatic again or something like that I'm like so did he burn it off <laughs> like I, 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 I went from like he burnt it off to he didn't burn it off and I did he burn it off I think he didn't I feel like I'm like 90% sure that the research was still on her back like he didn't burn it off so if it's not that, then I'm assuming that he was referring in this particular case to the Ishbalan war, even though it's not he's not the one that pushed her to participate in it. So yeah, and then Envy seeing all these things happening in front of him, and he's like, "Why are you not killing each other? <laughs> like I, I I don't get this. Like you have Scar, there you have Roy in front of you, there you have Hawkeye in front of you. Those two." killed your people why are you not killing them and then he he turned to edward and he's like scar over there killed your girlfriend's parents why are you not killing him you know did he mention some something else i don't know there was just a lot of reasons for all these people not to be working together to be killing each other so he did not understand why they were not acting the way he thought they were gonna act and that's why Edward gave him the lesson like you know humans are resilient okay you may beat them down all the way to the ground under the ground but as long as they have people that care about them they're gonna lift them back up just like they lift the Roy back up here when he was about to lose it to the to the hatred and everything and that's when Edward told him that he was just as jealous of humans. And then he realized that me, Envy, jealous of humans? Like, it's like he couldn't fathom that he was jealous of us, man. And then when he realized that, yes, indeed, he was... <laughs> I love that line. Uh, not that line, but that moment where... Uh, like, when he realized that um edward was the one that made him realize that he said that in this uh, i don't want to curse but it the curse in the <laughs> thing. he said that in this um how can this uh like by he said oh, i'm try to remember for a second mm -hmm. and to make matters worse a bro like you who's shitty even by a human standard <laughs> when he said that i just like uh thought of 
like his height <laughs> like he's short compared to regular humans i don't know that's why my mom went when i read that so like i laughed but yeah i don't know uh, I, I, I don't like having cried over envy like I, I really don't but i did so i guess good for the show for making me feel for him by the end there And then, that's love. <laughs> he was beating on Alex. Was beating on him, beating on him. And Mira was just focusing on the immortal army. And then, the the people there, the army there, that's other Mira now, were like, we need to help them. And Mira was like, nah. Yeah, you don't need to do anything because those little punches that sloth was giving him like it's not gonna do anything to him considering what alex has been through and then it's like his shoulder is like, sort of like puffed back in and he's like punching and punching and punching and punching and then the music that was in the background was so like oh i loved it loved it but he's he's not there yet right sloth is not there mm -mm. not right now but uh, yeah and the buccaneer showed up with I totally forgot that she went to Briggs to give them like she was exploding stuff so that the Briggs people can capture her and then she gave them um, information right it was from Alphonse or from Edward I don't know but like I totally forgot that she was over there with them and then like she dug on the ground and usually when she introduces herself she's like I'm a traveling um housewife or something or other she never actually admits or whatever that she's an alchemist and in this particular case she's like but i'm, I'm gonna go buy my other job or something or other and she's like alchemist or whatever <sighs> so good and then the end credit whatever you have Hohenheim and father like face to face <sighs> i'm worried man I'm so worried and that he, he was referring to Oehenham was referring to father as the flask the homunculus in the flask and then he was referring to Oehenham as the slave number 23 I think why 23? is there a particular significance to that number? I feel like with this show there must be <sighs> I love this show love it Thank you guys for watching and if you like this reaction just give it a thumbs up subscribe and if you want to see the next episode right now you can do so by checking out my patreon at patreon.com slash and you can also see the full length for this reaction there as well so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time